Hello everybody. Um, so we're back at the Glenwood Cemetery um, just outside of Houston. Downtown Houston. I think about bun, I'll cook it. But anyway, um, so we actually uh, a few days ago or sometime during the week past, we drove through the cemetery. Um, my husband and I have come here and ate lunch at the cemetery. It's so peaceful. Um, and it's just beautiful. Um, this rest area, this resting area of all these human beings, these people that were loved ones to other ones, um, rest here now. So anyway, uh, we drove around and we noticed that there's another section that we never um, touched. So we're here today and I'm going to go ahead and show you around some of these beautiful rest areas, resting areas of these beautiful souls that are here to rest eternally. I'll be back, okay? <laughs> Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to explore a little bit more of this side of the cemetery, which was just discovered uh, sometime this past week. And uh, the cemetery is a lot larger than, than we thought originally. So let me walk this way. Oh, look, it's wind chimes. See what it sounds like. Oh, I oh, hear nothing. There we go. And again, I'm fighting the mosquitoes. So you see, is we're right. I'm not sure what right freeway that is. All oh, these mosquitoes, mosquito, mosquito. <laughs> what a uh, freeway this is! But if you look around, you can see that the freeway is on both sides of this end where I'm at right now. But let's go this way. So this one has an enclosure with the initial K. It's nice. Kelly is the last name. Oh, focus is in. Here's another one, another enclosure. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, I believe here on that way it's going to be a lot of the enclosed private um, family plots. Carry man, this one's open. Let's close it. Oops, Just trying to. There we go. Closed pyramid. All right, let's go look at some more gorgeous resting places. Oh, 
so I wanted to come over here because I seen this last time I was driving through here and wait a minute there was a man standing here what happened to him where'd he go okay I don't know what happened I swear that was a man standing right here I don't know where he went but look at this Chilies. Oh, there he is. I see him now. I don't know if I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm going to go over there. Magnolia trees. And then you have this arbor. Is that what it's called? Oh. It's a pretty water fountain right here. You heard water. So tranquil, relaxing. Nice. Nice little area here. Oh wow, look. <laughs> Going to where? Oh, look. Oh, I can get up here. Oh. That's where the water's going. Awesome. This place is full of butterflies. Look at the butterfly. Beautiful. There's one of the many butterflies that you see when you come to the cemetery. So pretty. Okay, so I want to show you this real quick. This is a tree. And I see a symbol in regards to this tree still lying here. 
look it's been uprooted look like it's been there for a while see but this tree shows and it gives a symbol of never give up because if you see right here new branches are coming through and it's still thriving so it's been knocked down but it doesn't give up and that's what we all should do never give up look at my little butterflies little bees now if i can catch them in this video but this is just part of the little nature that lives within these beautiful flowers here at the cemetery Okay, so I'm in a different section of cemetery. I'm not sure if they have names for the sections, but this section right here does have a few bronze sculptures. I will go ahead and plug in the um, photos of the sculptures. But I like this one right here because it looks like it has a little welcome mat. And right here, as you walk in, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, it says, Blessed are thy who mourn for the they will be will will be comforted i'm sorry it's hard to see i don't know if i can't see you probably can't see it either but anyway this is like a welcome into this little beautiful garden i'm not gonna walk in it but i do want to show you that and do we see over there i'm gonna get see from here those next few spots that i'm fixing to go to look at the weeping willow all right guys okay so here's oh, one that is like so awesome and this one's called let me see what the name is nicarillo nicarillo i'm gonna attempt to go up here Nice. Okay, I'm here and it looks like a personal mausoleum for the last name Myers. Let's step up here and admire the beauty. Look at that. Beautiful. So, I can't see inside. Oh, you can't, but it's so dark. I don't know if my camera can catch it. There it is. Joseph William Myers. My husband was actually doing his vlog here just a few seconds ago, and during the middle of his vlog, it turned off. So I decided to try to see if anything happens. Nothing has happened. Thank you, Mr. Myers, for allowing me to to share the beauty of your personal mausoleum. May you rest in peace. This right here is a little um, statue of, I don't know, but the name on here on the side says Molly, but it says friend to everyone 
So this right here is actually, and I've never seen this before, but a, a family pet buried among with the rest of, you know, people. So I believe it was a collie, if I'm not mistaken. But Molly passed away 2012, born 1971. Apparently he was very loved by his humans. Rest in peace, Molly. Okay, guys, so um, we are at the resting place of Bob McNair. Bob McNair was the owner of the Houston Texans. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go up here. All this right here is for Bob McNair. There's my husband doing his thing. Look at all this. Is for Bob McNair. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, it looks like these may be um, little um, for the urns. For the family of the McNair family. Nice. Got some steps going down. Again, beautiful. Again, this is um, the rest in place. And for and for the rest of the place for the family of the McNair family, Bob McNair was the the uh, owner of the Houston Texans, the National Football Team, and of course based out of Houston. Robert Carey Bob McNair, January 1st, 1937, November 23rd, 2018. You can't go wrong by doing what's right. Beautiful.